you ever wonder how Russia built a jet to rival America's legendary F-22 Raptor? Well, buckle in, because the story of the Su-57 is a wild ride through ambition, setbacks, and stealthy dreams. Let's go back to the early 2000s. Russia's Air Force was flying Cold War era jets like the MiG-29 and Su-27. Solid aircraft, sure, but they were getting old. Meanwhile, across the ocean, the US was flying the F-22 Raptor, an advanced, stealthy air superiority beast that pretty much dominated the skies. Russia needed an answer, something fast, stealthy, and deadly. And that's where the story of the Su-57 begins. The project kicked off in 2001 under a name that sounds like a sci-fi movie, P-A-K-F-A, -A, which stands for Perspective Aircraft Complex of Frontline Aviation. Basically, it was Russia's version of a fifth-generation fighter designed to rule the skies and hold its own against any Western aircraft. At first, the Su-57, or P-A-K-F-A, -A, as it was known back then, was imagined as a pure air superiority fighter. Think dogfights, intercepts, and controlling the sky. But as the program evolved, designers decided to give it more flexibility, so it got a ground attack role too, making it a true multi-role fighter. Not just a sky warrior, but also capable of striking targets below. Its mission was clear. Replace the aging fleet of MiG-29s and Su-27s and show the world that Russia could build a next-gen stealth jet to rival the West. Fast forward to 2010. The first prototype took to the skies in its maiden flight. It was a big moment, not just for Russia's defense industry, but for the country's global image. They were saying, look out world, we're back in the game. By 2014, the Russian Air Force received a pre-production prototype for evaluation and testing. Everything from maneuverability, radar systems, weapons integration, and of course, stealth features had to be thoroughly checked. Trials went on for a while, until 2015, when testing was largely completed. Things were looking good, on paper at least. Originally, the plan was for the Su-57 to enter full service by 2017 or 2018. And by 2020, it was supposed to be fully operational. But as you might guess, things didn't exactly go according to plan. The Su-57 faced a series of delays. Some were technical. The engines weren't fully ready. The electronics and new missile systems were still under development. Other issues were financial. Building a cutting-edge stealth fighter isn't cheap, and Russia had to juggle priorities. So instead of mass-producing Su-57s, the Russian Air Force had to rely on the Su-35 as a kind of temporary solution. The Su-35 is a very capable jet, no doubt, but it's not a fifth-gen stealth fighter. 